Hey guys, so today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Lancome Tint E. Joel Fresh Wear Foundation. And this is a new one out by Lancome. It is a 18 hour shine free makeup. It has SPF 15 in it. It's supposed to be um, humidity and perspiration resistant makeup that's going to keep you looking matte and poreless all day. So that was really appealing to me as someone who wears foundation all day. I'm typically gone from the house for about 13 hours a day, so I don't have a lot of time to touch up my makeup, and I really wanted to try this because I have combination oily skin, and I just was really excited about all these product claims. So this bottle is $32, and you get 0.8 ounces, which is less than majority of foundations that have one fluid ounce. So it is a little pricey for how much you get in here, but the good thing is it's extremely liquidy. It's falling out, out onto my hand. Um, it's extremely, extremely liquidy consistency. As you just saw, I opened it up and it started spilling all over my hands. And I just got it all over me, so that's how liquidy it is. It blends, like this amount right here is probably enough for your entire face. It, you just don't need a lot of this stuff. It just blends like so nicely. It's so liquidy, it's so smooth, and it has really, really good coverage for how lightweight it is. Um, I can just like rub it into my hands, you can kind of like get a feel for like the coverage. Um, so compare my hands, this one here has the foundation on it, and this one here doesn't. So you can definitely see the difference, it really masks all my kind of veins in my hand. It's a beautiful, beautiful matte finish when you first put it on. It makes the face look extremely poreless, extremely porcelain. Um, you can powder it if you want, but you don't have to. Um, I found I like to finish the best when I don't powder it, but I tend to put a little bit of powder, like a very lightweight powder, in my T-zone just in case I get oily, um, especially because I'm going to be wearing it for so long throughout the day. Um, but in general, I really like this product as far as being like a very high quality foundation that makes the skin look very gorgeous. However, I found that this just like did not live up to the product claims for me. Um, it did not last 18 hours and I'm sad to say that I actually did test that out. Um, I wasn't really that surprised that it didn't last 18 hours just because, you know, I've never found a foundation that lasts 18 hours, but um, it just did get very greasy. Um, by midday. I was seeing a lot of shininess in my T-zone. I did have to blot with this and I did have to powder. So um, the fact that this is kind of marketed towards people with oily skin was a little surprising to me that this just didn't work out because it just sounded like it was going to be absolutely perfect. Um, I loved this foundation for probably the first five hours I wore it, but Beyond that, um, it just kind of started, like the coverage started dissipating, and then I just started seeing a lot of oil breaking through. Within those first five hours that I wore it, I absolutely loved, like, the feeling of my skin. It's very lightweight. It's very smooth. It's very natural. You don't even really feel like you have foundation on your face, and it's just such a gorgeous finish. Um, you almost don't even want to put powder on your face to ruin that gorgeous, poor, minimized, matte finish. It's so gorgeous. But throughout the day, I just started getting very shiny and sort of more of like a dewy natural finish, which some people might absolutely love because they prefer a more dewy finish. So if you have like normal skin, normal to oily skin, and you saw this product and you were like, you know, I don't usually like products with a matte finish. I don't know if this is going to be for me. Maybe you will end up liking this more than you think. Um... But for me, because I really do like my skin staying matte for a long time, I was a little disappointed by the longevity of this foundation. Um, uh, as far as the color selection, um, it comes in a lot of different colors and different intensity levels. They have four intensity levels, and they're marked by cool or neutral or warm. Um, I have this in color 5C Buff, which is in the second intensity level, 
And the, my main complaint was with color matching is that they had a lot of shades, which was nice, but they didn't have very many neutral shades. And since I have a neutral undertone, um, and I have sort of like not a medium, but not a light skin tone. I'm usually in between light and medium, um, or in between fair and medium, so maybe you would call me light. But in that second intensity range, they had no neutral shades, so I was forced to go with a cool shade, because between warm and cool, I'm more of a cool. So sometimes I did feel like this color was a little bit pink for me, but if you go to the counter, they do give little samples out, and they'll label it for you. They'll give you a few of them if you want. And they'll even give you another little sample so you can maybe mix it, like customize it if it's a little too warm or a little too cool for you. You could always try doing that. Um, the main thing I found was the lighter of a layer that you use, the better. Um, if you build this to get more coverage, it does start getting even more oily quicker. So that was one thing I found. If I used a very little bit of amount, like literally like a few drops, and then just used my Sephora number 55 and did a very thin layer all over my face, that was the best because it was better at controlling my oil. But if I reapplied it later or um, just applied it a little bit thicker for some reason in the morning by mistake, like I put too much on my hand or whatever... It did get oilier faster. I definitely think that this could maybe be better depending on like if you have a really awesome primer or a really awesome powder and maybe it could last like 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours. But I think it's just one of those things you really have to experiment with. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be repurchasing just because it is $32 and it is six or it's only 0.8 fluid ounces. Um, I think it's a good product and I'm, I'm, it, interested in seeing what will happen as I continue to use it throughout the fall. I'm thinking maybe that this is a foundation that I'll like more once it gets a little cooler because um, my skin won't be as oily. So I think that it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous finish, but it just did not control my oil the way I really needed it to. Um, so if you have normal skin, maybe check this out. Um, if you like a matte finish, definitely check this out. It's not overly matte, so don't be scared off by the matte finish. This definitely, especially later throughout the day, the longer you wear it, the more natural it starts to look. So if you're a fan of like the more natural finish foundations, the more satin found finish foundations, definitely check this out because you'll probably like it. Um, I was slightly disappointed, and that's probably why I won't repurchase, but it is a great foundation, and I definitely will use it all up. Um, I will actually later be reviewing the Shiseido Sun Protection Liquid Foundation, and these to me are very comparable in that they're both kind of supposed to be like sweat resistant and good for summer and have SPF in them, and between the two, the Shiseido definitely like beat this Lancome one like to death. Like, this one is, like, 20 times better. So I got the Lancome one first, and then I got the Shiseido, and now that I'm, like, trying them, I think I liked the Lancome until I tried the Shiseido, and now that I have tried the Shiseido, I'm just kind of, like, over the Lancome. So I'm definitely going to keep using this throughout the fall, and I think I'll like it better, but right now, while it's still summer, I'm definitely going to be using the Shiseido. Um... As far as the claim that this product is sweat resistant um, and good for humidity and perspiration, I would definitely disagree with that claim. This foundation was not sweat resistant for me. It was not good with humidity or perspiration. I actually thought that it started feeling sort of sticky later throughout the day if I was like out running errands and it was really hot. So I was not super impressed with that. Um, had this product not made any of those claims, I don't think I'd be complaining about it, but because it made all these claims about how great it was going to be, I just am kind of like, okay, it was okay, it was pretty good, but it's not really what it said it was supposed to be. Also, with only SPF 15, I just think for summer, if you really are trying to protect your skin, SPF 15 is really not that much. Um, I like wearing SPF in my foundations on a daily basis, and SPF 15 is, to me is just pretty standard. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review, and feel free to leave me a comment below if you have a question or if you need my opinion on something. I'd be very happy to answer it. Have a good day, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!